It's a beautiful view of the city. The skyline shows a city with potential, but the reality is a city in crisis. Some of the problems aren't being tackled inside City Hall, so let's go see what the leaders are doing. Inside this building, Council President Nick Mosby fast-tracked legislation giving these workers a lifetime worth of pension benefits for part-time work, changing the requirements from 12 years to eight. The city's finance and retirement systems both told Council President Nick Mosby they wanted to study this to ensure the city's finances could handle it. Mosby ignored those requests. Hours before the vote, community leaders stood right here in front of City Hall calling on the members to change their minds. Why did we have to vote for term limits? Because of actions just like this. We're saying enough is enough. We will make up uh, uh, our life mission to identify the members who voted for the wrong, in the wrong way in this, in this amendment, we will do our best to find good men and women to compete against them in the next election so that we have men and women in that body who represent the people of Baltimore. But it didn't work. The plan passed with eight members voting for it, but these five, they voted against it. And some of the concerns from these opposition members were that they said this vote looked a little self-serving. And they also said that it flied in the face of some of the requirements for Baltimore City's first responders to get a pension too. This is the Baltimore Police Department's headquarters. And after a decades long legal battle, now first responders, they have to work 25 years to earn their pension. That's up from the previous 20. I talked with the president of the Baltimore Retired Police Union and even before the council voted, he was pretty frustrated with this plan. To me, that's button in line. A lot of retirees live paycheck to paycheck or pension check to pension check. So if you're frustrated with some of these moves from the elected leaders, you could take it out at the ballot box in 2024, but we aren't quite at the next election cycle yet. So in the meantime, here's what you can do. You can let your voice be heard right now. This entire plan, it hinges on Mayor Brandon Scott. So what you can do is you can scan this QR code and take our question of the day and let us know. Should Mayor Brandon Scott veto this bill city council passed for themselves? We'll check out the results in a little bit. In Baltimore, Mackenzie Frost, Fox 45 News.